Meet 24-year-old Lorenzo Manuel Napizzi Regis. He is the new president of Chamorro Seafaring Group, Ulitao Inc. Its mission is to revitalize and perpetuate the Chamorro Seafaring heritage and traditions here on the island. It was his late grandfather, Lorenzo Napizzi, his hero and role model, that sparked his love for culture. He was considered as one of the best farmers and fishermen in Don and Molesto of his time. And as a result of that, it, I became that kid that would be climbing coconut trees to grab a tuba for him or going late at night to catch bungalow or a lion crab or um, pasture his goats. Just everything that he did, I would be the mini-me of him. And I've always wanted to be just like him as a kid. Just before his grandfather's passing, he told Lorenzo's parents that his grandson will learn Chamorro. And he's done exactly that. As a result of that, I've been learning with my mom and dad, and we've, they've been my walking dictionary for tomorrow. And it, comes, it has come to a point that we can actually have a conversation in Shamor now. Um, something that I wasn't able to do as a kid. Um, that's something that's pretty important to me. But aside from his language, Lorenzo has also took on traditional dancing, studying under the tutelage of his uncle Vince Regis with Inetnan Gethpagu. He then moved on to seafaring, joining Ulitao three years ago, serving as vice president for two years and now as its president. We try to expand on just, not only on the seafaring side, but also into other aspects of our culture. Because traditionally the Guma Ulitao is a house that would teach young boys all aspects of their Chamorro culture in order for them to become a man. Um, they would also have the, the female version of that would be the Gumala. And we would try to teach our Ulita members now how to build houses in the Chamorro style. Um, just small things like um, how to make fire. Um, we're now diving into the art of uh, slinging the Atsu Atupa. Um, fishing. Um, and, and traditionally, the, to graduate from the Ulita, to, to graduate from the Guma Ulita, you would have to sell a canoe, one man, and catch a marlin and bring it back to your village. That's, uh, that's something that we always saw as a benchmark of, to be, that would be the benchmark, like that would be something that we would want to become as good as a seafarer to be able to do that one day. But as far as now, we just want to absorb every aspect of our culture, whether, whether it be weaving, whether it be seafaring, whether it be anything. We just want to uh, make our members, our young members, able to know as much as they can, not just the uh, seafaring aspect of our culture. Ulitao's goal now is to build a double hull Chamorro canoe to sail to the Festival of Pacific Arts in Hawaii, scheduled for 2020. I think it's one of the most important aspects of our culture because without the knowledge of seafaring, without the knowledge of canoe building, Chamorros wouldn't exist. Um, we wouldn't have discovered Guam and the rest of the Marianas Islands some 4,000 years ago. As president of the organization, he plans to keep our culture alive, saying he's proud to be Chamorro. I live it every day. I feel like I try to impose, I try to be someone from the past. I try to be as Chamorro as I can. Um, I feel like that is who I am and it's who I want to be. And, if, and it's who I will continue to strive to be and that's Chamorro, it's my grandpa, it's me, it's anyone else that has that Chamorro DNA, that Chamorro blood, that Chamorro heart and it's something that I feel like we shouldn't be putting under a table and we should be sharing with the rest of the world.